The differences between the Weber Spirit, Genesis, and Summit seem straightforward enough. Weber Spirit, the smaller grill, Genesis is their mid-sized to larger grill, with the Summit being their largest and most featured. But it isn't always that simple. In this video, you'll learn a bit about each series and a basic feature comparison between the similar price models of the different series. In the end, you'll have a better understanding of which Weber grill is right for you. Like I said, the differences between the Weber grill series seem straightforward, but are actually kind of confusing. For example, a full-featured three-burner spirit with a sear station and a side burner is only $50 less than a basic three-burner Genesis without a sear or a side burner. The Summit is their best grill, but a four-burner Genesis is 40% larger and 40% less expensive than a four-burner Summit. To complicate matters, Weber improved their grills a couple years ago with their GS4 improvements, their code name for faster one-strike ignition, with a second row of flavorizer bars for less flare-ups and better grease management. But they only included the GS4 in their lowest price Spirit 2 models and all Genesis grills, yet none of their best Summit grills. So choosing a Weber Spirit, Genesis, and Summit is a bit complicated. Let's start with the Spirit line, which is really two grill lines, the Spirit and the Spirit 2. Spirit 2 has the GS4 improvements and is the least expensive. It is available in two or three burners at 26 and 32,000 BTU at up to 424 square inches of cooking area. The regular Spirit doesn't have the GS4, but will have the better features like a stainless body, more durable stainless grates, a 12,000 BTU side burner, as well as a 7,500 BTU sear located between the two burners in the middle for added heat. The regular Spirit even has a smart grill. We'll talk about smart grills later in the video. But let's look at the best 699 S335 Spirit versus the basic 749 E310 Genesis. Genesis is technically more BTU listed at 39,000 versus 32,000 BTUs. However, the Spirit has the sear of 7,500, which is really a row of burners in the middle, so it's actually 500 BTUs hotter. Spirit has a side burner as well. Genesis is a larger grill at 513 square inches versus 424 for the Spirit. So it's a larger Genesis grill with the GS4 improvements versus a smaller, yet more fully functional Spirit. All the Genesis grills have the GS4. You choose between a three burner at 39,000 BTUs and 513 square inches, or a four burner at 48,000 and 646 square inches. The upgrades to the Genesis are stainless body and stainless grates, and then side burner with sear station, much like the Spirit. The best Genesis before the Smart Series is the S435 at 1249 with a stainless body and grates, 12,000 B2 side burner, and a 9,000 B2 sear zone. You'd compare this grill to a four burner stainless Summit grill for $2199. Summit is Weber's largest grill and best for features, available in four and six burners. The Summit six burner, for example, has 60,000 B2 a 10,600 BTU sear, a rotisserie and rotisserie burner on the top at 10,000 BTU, and a smoker basket of 6,800 BTU to infuse flavor, as well as the 12,000 BTU side burner. Yet Summit does not have the GS4, the older system with a Snapjet ignition, and only one set of flavorizer bars, and a different grease management system is still reliable, but not improved like the Genesis. Comparing Genesis versus Summit is like comparing two different types of grills. Although they are both 48,000 BTU and have the same side burner output at 12,000 BTU, as well as similar sear zones, the four burner Genesis is actually larger at 646 square inches versus 468 for the better Summit. The Genesis is also less expensive at 1249 versus 2199 for the Summit. However, the summer will allow you to cook differently with a rotisserie and a 10,000 BTU infrared burner on the top. It's an important distinction. You could probably buy an aftermarket rotisserie for the Genesis, but even without the burner, it will not be the same. Infrared 
is also an intense heat and perfect for rotisserie. Some will also have the 6800B2 smoker basket, allowing infused flavor by adding different types of wood chips. The sears are almost the same. Some it is 10,600 versus 9,500 for the Genesis. It's just a row of burners and not a true infrared sear like the professional types like a Lynx or a Heston. So the Summit has the ability to do more like smoke and affect the rotisserie for $800 more than the larger Genesis with a better GS4 system. Summit, as I said, will also have the largest grill with all the features at $2,799. Any grill can be smart with Weber's iGrill app and accessory. It's Bluetooth meat probes, so you can track your food on your phone through an app will tell you when to turn that burger or when you should remove it. Only the Genesis and, and Spirit lines have smart grills with the eye grill built in. You can even see the internal temperature right on the grill. The Spirit starts at $849, and the Genesis has smart grills up to $1,349. So which grill do you buy? The Spirit has the smallest and least expensive, starting at $379 for their Spirit 2. Someone has the largest and most fully featured with six burners, rotisserie, smoker, side burners at $27.99. Weber doesn't have a perfect grill for everyone. That's why there's so many different models and options. To determine the right Weber for you, you have to assess how you actually grill. If it is a few items, the Spirit is a great grill. The better Spirits have decent features. If you're a regular griller and like to infuse your food with flavor and would use a rotisserie regular, then the Summit's a good option. That said, Genesis is the most popular grill for good size, powerful burners at a decent price. So match whatever Weber grill suits your particular cooking style. Click the link in the description below to download our free barbecue buying guide. And to learn more about popular units with in-depth comparisons of all the most popular brands, answers to frequently asked questions, and buying strategies to save you money. Thanks for watching.